Here we have a 10 by 12 inch glass plate negative, silver gelatin. On the verso side, it has some um, masking to emphasize, done by the photographer, to emphasize certain areas to get more contrast. The glass is very brittle, it's very dry. It will easily break or crack. We need to support it on card, on board. And if we need to turn it over, depending uh, which weight comes from the box, if you need to turn it, it needs again um, support on both sides card or mat board. The paper that's normally used for smaller size plates, it's a little bit too thin, too light for this particular size plate. So we use um, heavier paper to make the, the sleeves and they are just four flat. So that um, protects the plate but also adds a little bit of cushioning mm -hmm. in between the plates. And these particular plates, they always stay flat in the box. While smaller plates, they can go, they can stand, like this, always stay flat. How could I protect my scanner um, while I'm scanning these? What would you recommend? Yes, good question. Um, I would recommend to use a mylar sheet uh, on, on the glass, on the scanner, and that's very useful. It protects the scanner from the, the sharp edges. In some cases, there are the plates are broken and you have some small chips, shards, that will can scratch the scanner. If my glass plates are broken, what can I do? Bring them to Art Lab to have them repaired or stabilized. So we use, if they are broken, we sandwich them between two sheets of borosilicate glass, which is uh, conservation grade, um, and we seal them and that makes the plate safer to handle. Um, again, it's very tricky because if you have it on, a, uh, on the scanner, how do you pick it up? Mm -hmm. It's very hard to pick it up, isn't it? So in this case, the mylar helps, but also, and this is the same, works for flat objects. Um, just a little bit of help with the card to lift up a corner or an edge enough as to safely pick it up.